Have you ever struggled to boil a perfect egg? Yeah, me neither. This one is so dumb. No one in their right mind would do this. An egg timer should not be bigger than the damn fridge you store them in. But hey, here we are. Now, this is no ordinary egg timer. This excellent egg timer, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry, is made of Lego. But it's also powered by eggs. And just to make it even more pointless and annoying, it shoots you when the egg is ready. Yup, this is the pinnacle of modern kitchen engineering. But I promise, I'll end the video with another exciting timer that's a bit more... Eh, sensible. And probably some even worse egg puns. So, let's start with the timing mechanism. I'm not patient enough to build those incredibly delicate escapement mechanisms that expert builders use in their clocks, but I sure can brute force a crappy mechanism that works just good enough. This is the piece that I'll use to allow a bit of movement, and then it'll block itself from completing a full rotation. This gives us that tick-tock mechanism that you see in clocks, but way more basic. This piece here will attach to a pendulum, which will swing back and forth, allowing the mechanism to rotate on each tick-tock cycle. These are pretty cool, because they only require a tiny input of power to keep swinging back and forth. And now we'll need to feed it with some rotational energy. Here you can see when I turn the gear, it starts ticking and tocking. Next, we'll need to power this thing. And to provide that power, we'll force this axle to rotate by having some track pieces pull on it. If I turn on this black cog piece, you can see it starts wagging its pendulum like an excited puppy. Okay, so here's the belt. And if we lay it over the black cog and give it a yank, there we go, we have movement. And because we're using this ridiculous contraption to cook eggs, what better way to power it than with eggs? What a cracking plan. Okay, let's make a little basket to house our eggs. These pieces here will do. Sweet, here's our little egg basket. And there we have it, an egg timer powered by eggs. Let's see how our egg power fares. Yup, there she goes. Okay, but how about the timing? <laughs> yeah, I like a runny yolk, but 30 seconds is a bit underdone. Alrighty, more height. Now this is where things get a little ridiculous. You know what my apartment needs? Something that takes up like half the damn kitchen just to time eggs. Go big or go home, I guess. This is so dumb. All right, we'll definitely have to shrink this thing down later. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more of these silly experiments, feel free to subscribe or drop a like. And if you'd like to see more of the behind the scenes while I build these contraptions, I've just started channel memberships available beneath the video. I greatly appreciate your support with these experiments. This is ridiculous. Cool, well, this looks like it'll take a bit longer. But just how long do we have right now with a small pendulum? Hmm, yeah, four minutes is still a little gooey. I don't know about you, but I don't like the whites to be runny. Well, fortunately, timing is easy, if a little tedious. A longer pendulum will swing slower, as you can see here, giving us a longer run time. Okay, what about now? How's she cooking? Hey, six minutes, 10. Hmm, perfect. But we need an alarm for our timer. What better way of rudely interrupting my kitchen activities than by loudly chucking a bunch of plastic across the floor? These Technic shooter thingies are the perfect annoying feature for such a silly machine. Now, when the basket reaches the base, it kindly chucks them under the fridge or leaves you a fun surprise to step on when you're carrying boiling water. Perfect. Just before we cook our egg, a thought occurs. Let's get even eggier by swapping our wheel out with 
An egg. Now we're truly cooking with egg power. Okay, okay, after all this, is it actually useful? Careful. All right, we're off. This is riveting stuff, but I'll speed us up. Sake. So stupid. <laughs> what a delightful device. Okay. Let's see what you like. Hmm. Actually, pretty damn good. This is exactly how I like my yolks. Please don't tell me I have to keep this monstrosity around. <laughs> nope. No way in hell am I leaving that thing taking up half the space of my fridge while it chucks plastic around my kitchen. Okay, so this dude is my attempt at making a more practical timer. And it can even give us different, uh, dunnesses? It's got a bunch of simple features that make this just a bit more useful. Yeah, it's got this thingy, which is a Lego wind-up motor, which you can turn using this wheel. And it's got this thingy, which is a ratchet to hold onto the energy we give it. Uh, it's got this thingy, which is a differential. Uh, it's not really needed, but it looks cool, and it allows us to wind it up while it's still in use. Uh, it's got this thingy, which is like a clock, I guess. And the rest is pretty much the same as our big boy. The escapement here is made of three uh, rotating thingies, so we get three tick tocks per rotation. And it's got the same 1 to 25 gear ratio. The way it works is you crank the wheel, which feeds the timer. And this belt then drives the worm gear, which rotates the clock face. When the red needle is reset to the side here, and you give the pendulum a flick to get it started, the timer begins. And slowly, over the course of several minutes, the needle will move across to the green indicator. When it aligns with the green indicator, we know our egg is done, at around 6 minutes. If you leave it longer, then the needle will indicate firm, at around 8 minutes, and then hard at around 10 minutes. This one actually goes on for quite a while, usually getting around 22 to 23 minutes on a single charge. After a bit of tweaking of the pendulum and the indicators here, we're good to go. Let's see how she cooks. In go our eggs. And then we'll take one at the green mark. And one at the yellow mark. And one at the red mark. Let's see, our green egg is uh, hmm, overdone a bit, I guess? Hmm. I really should have opened him up immediately. And our yellow egg is yeah, pretty firm, but still nice. And our hard-boiled egg is, uh, well, hard. Okay, well, I'm no chef, but this is good enough for me. <laughs> That's a damn sight more useful than our big fella. Well, I'll take this one as a win. And if anyone has any ideas about what else I could use this for, I'd love to hear it. So far I'm thinking maybe a generator, or maybe a metronome or something. Let me know in the comments.